Hey, it's Brigzar, and today we have a very special train set to look at. This is the Marsh Train Set 10219. It's 1,234 pieces, three minifigures, and it is one of the coolest locomotives um, that LEGO has designed. Uh, it's a very nice unit. Um, the, the, the locomotive is, and you get the cars, you get the trucks, you get the three Marsh guys. Not Rick Czar in space, though. He's not there. He's wearing space uniform because he's been kidnapped by They Might Be Bricks. But anyway, we're going to look at this. It's this set, the Marsh Train. And it's, like I said, it's really a neat looking set. The locomotive is great. Uh, train cars are good. And so we'll get right to it by looking at the locomotive first. All right, we'll start with our locomotive. It's got the set number on the um, locomotives, engine number 10219. Now, Mardi Gras Man 23 is the one that's been, uh, he's been really wanting me to show this. I had some other people too, so I, I pulled it out. I really love this locomotive. This is um, one of the diesel units you'd see over here in the United States. It just looks really nice. Um, got the marsh colors which apparently are going away I understand that the marsh color on the new container ship is not the same I have not got the new container ship yet so I don't know the triple E but we will see um, this is not motorized though it is easily converted um, you can take uh, one of the wheel bases off and add the power functions and it has step-by-step -step instructions in, uh, to do that in the instruction manual which uh, another good thing about this set I guess I'll go ahead and show you that um, the instruction manual came with the cardboard that protects it so it didn't get all all dented up and this is one of the manuals I'm trying to find the one that's got the um, power functions in it. I'll slide that back real quick. But basically it's pretty simple to convert. Shows you how to put the battery box in there. And then convert the wheel base. So we'll do that in another video. Uh, but not for the sake of this one. Alright, so anyway, let's get a good look at all the details on this locomotive. This is to me. This is the highlight of the set. Is the locomotive. I just like. I like having the steps. It's got the guardrails. It's got the details. I think. Is that where the fuel goes? I don't. You know. As much as I love trains, I don't know a lot about the uh, workings. I know that they're. It's usually it's diesel generated electricity. Uh, that's what makes the wheels go. It's traction. It's electricity. They do have these little things on the wheels here to kind of give it traction. But it just looks really good. It looks really good. And the track is getting in the way, but it's got a lot of stickers on it, and there are stickers over assembly, but it's, uh, it's needed to do the, uh, the Marsh logo there. Not Those aren't working lights or anything. Um, it's just some round pieces. It's got the lights on the end. The engine's in here. Let's see if I can take this off. And that's pretty cool. Got the wrench there and everything. You can also take these off easily and look on the inside. Let's go ahead and take them off. These are stickers on the um, top as well. Little fans. I think that's what that is. So we'll just swing up here not a lot of lot going on in there you can see more from the side here now let's see if I can put it back together back on there. We'll turn this over and see the, the bottom of the locomotive, what it looks like. 
can just really like this locomotive. And let's see if we can take the top up apart. There's the control pet panel here. You can put an engineer in there. He's got his little uh, operating area there. And that's really all there is to that. Which one of these guys is the engineer? I think it's the guy with the beard. I'll put the, him in later. I gotta show the minifigures. That's just sitting there like that. And then we'll turn it around. It's real heavy. There's a lot of pieces that go into it, so it's weighted good. So once you put the um, the motor in, it's going to have the weight needed to um, pull a train. Because sometimes with uh, Lego trains, if they don't have a lot of pieces, even when you put the motor in, they don't um, they won't pull good. That's why some of the early trains had weights. This, this have, I can't, you know, it's been so long since I built this. I can't remember if it had a weighted brick in it. Yeah, I don't think it did, but it's it's just it's full of bricks. Just a lot went into it, so it's um, it's got the weight needed to pull a train. So that's the locomotive. Now let's look at the um, the container cars. All right, here's your container cars. Uh, these are the type of uh, units you'd see going to the shipyard or to the intermodal yard to pick up the these interchangeable containers. These are you know, land, sea, air, and go from a ship to a truck to a train, easily tr converted. And we have the, um, these will work with the truck that we'll look at in a minute. And you get two of these cars. They're pretty simple in design. There's really not much going on with them. Um, take this one off and just see how it, you can set the um, container in there. I think the TTX ones they made look a lot better than these um, and plus these are two separate units they're not uh, joined together like the TTX but um, yeah not the the greatest design but it still it still looks good and it's, it's simple and so the containers just slip right in there and you can double stack them if you choose to do so like that so you get two cars now one thing I failed to point out is that your cargo, if you take it out, I guess technically it's not cargo, although that's where I put it. What you can do with your cars, is you can put this piece in the middle here of the train car, like so. And then you can double stack it, or not double stack it, but uh, put two on a car sideways, I mean, um, like so, instead of just one in the middle. So I think you got to have the doors on the end. Let's do this right. Yeah. So that's your other option with the train cars. You can stack them like this. And that's what the purpose of uh, the cargo little piece is. Not really cargo. But, um, that's what you can do. And another nice thing about this set is these containers. They look really sharp. Um, you got two regular storage containers and a refrigerated container. They have doors on the end. And for instance, this one has doors. Don't have any goods in this one. A lot of stickers again. This set's uh, full of stickers. Stickers over assembly like that. But I thought they did a good job with these containers. That's those uh, garage door bricks there that the garage door would slide in. And then this one's got some cargo in it. I'll dump it out. It's just some two by two marsh blue bricks with a light bluish gray brick in the middle. That's our cargo. It will be real easy with it there. And then we got the refrigerated container. I like this one. It's got the controls on the side for the um, air conditioning. That's what I'm thinking it is, because I think this is a refrigerated car, or container, and it's white. So that's neat. You only get the three, uh, but it's, it's nice. And this is one of those sets that you, um, for various reasons, you might buy extras of it, uh, get an extra locomotive, 
too. Because a train always looks good when you get two locomotives in the front of it, or if you want a bunch of new container cars. And that's why you'll see on eBay a lot of people selling either the locomotive or the, the flat cars or the containers separately. Um, it's usually more expensive to buy, buy it that way, but now that this set is, um, you can't really find it much anymore. This set has been discontinued, so you cannot really find it for the retail price anymore. So now we'll look, pull in the truck. Now this is not, I don't think this is the type of truck that you might see on the road. I think this is one of the trucks for working in the, uh, the container yard. Get this mirror adjusted right here. It's just a little truck, a one person cab there. And this is the one for moving the, the trailers around in the yard, I do believe. I don't think it's one for going down the road. But you can set the to the side there. It's a neat little truck, actually. But it's, like I said, it's just a, I think it's a yard truck. And you can put the container, they just plop right on there. Actually turn it the right way here. And that's pretty neat. And it's like ever since we got this set, my son notices when we're driving down the road, you'll see the marsh containers uh, and trailers and things like that. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. So that is the truck. Now let's look at the figures. You get three mini figures. And they're all wearing safety vests. I took the vest off of this guy. This is, I believe, the um, engineer is the way they depicted it in the set. So he's got a um, button-up shirt and zipper jacket on. No back printing. Dark, dark blue and of course the marsh blue helmet and there he is with his uh, safety vest on it's like you can't really tell the torsos apart well with the vest on so I took took it off to show you the first part I guess it doesn't really matter they all got the same torso um, and this is the truck operator truck driver he's got the silver shade sunglasses um, kind of like the guy in Cool Hand Loop. And this weird looking guy is the um, another sh shipyard worker or truck yard or container yard, but he's got safety goggles on. That's why his eyes look so weird, I think. I think those are safety goggles. Or glasses. Maybe they're just regular glasses. They look more like goggles to me with the white. So that is the Marsh Train. Set 10219. It's one of the best trains that LEGO has made, in my opinion, uh, mainly because of the locomotives. Uh, I do think the container cars could have been a little better, but hey, they're completely acceptable. You get a truck. You really get a lot for this set uh, for the price it was when it was out. Uh, I wish I'd picked up a few more of these. I bought three. I think I've sold one, and I got one more. I, I haven't opened yet, but it's just a good set. Tell me what you think. Do you like this train? Is it uh, one that you would want to have if you could still get it? It's not for sale anymore at the Lego store, so it has been retired. A very good train. I highly recommend it. I, if you want to get it, you better get it before the prices really go up because um, this is such a nice train that I think the aftermarket prices will go up higher than some of the other um, trains that don't have um, like a name on them, like this got Mars. But you know, some of the regular trains they don't really go up as much as some special ones like this. I mean, all the trains go up in value, but uh, you can still buy the Mr. Freeze train all day long for about what it was when it was out. But that's the train 4561. I call it the Mr. Freeze train. But anyway. This is the Marsh Train. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out my train playlist. I put all my train videos in the train playlist. You can see that on my, my main page and uh, I, I plan to eventually review all the trains that I own and I do attend, intend on picking up a few more that I don't own. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Brickyard.